So are there really evil beings among us just waiting to wreak havoc in our lives? This week, Beyond Belief looks at the existence of demons. Demons, they are the subject of popular horror movies like Poltergeist, The Omen, and The Exorcist, where they prey on unsuspecting victims and turn their lives into a living hell. But many believe demons aren't just figments of Hollywood's gory imagination. In fact, these evil beings have held prominent roles in most world religions since the beginning of time, including Islam, Hinduism, Judaism, and Christianity. Demons are mentioned so often in the scriptures that their number is estimated to be in the hundreds or even thousands, and they are divided into classes or levels, each with a different evil mission. The Bible says demons are the minions of the devil who work to carry out Satan's evil plans. And according to the Old Testament, the devil was originally an angel. Satan, or Lucifer, was the most beautiful creature of God. And yet, being an angel, he looked at God's beauty and said, I want that for myself, even to be more beautiful than I am. And therefore, he rejected God, and he was a fallen angel. And we see that as the presence of evil in this world as well. Good angels and also demons, which are also spiritual beings that who have rejected God. The job of a demon is to charm, tempt, and seduce humans to bring them over to the dark side with the promise of earthly gifts like power, money, and sex. Satan, or the devil, appears in seven books of the Old Testament. Remember when Adam and Eve were tempted to eat the forbidden fruit. In the New Testament, all of the Gospels mention the works of Satan, maybe most profoundly when, for 40 days, he tormented and tested Jesus in the wilderness. I'm gonna anoint you, hon. Keith, his arms are pretty warm. We need to do something. According to Catholic doctrine, demons can manifest themselves in people's lives in many different ways, viciously torturing their victims, either physically, psychologically, or spiritually. In some cases, demons can actually possess or take over the bodies of their victims. Brian Buell is the director and founder of the Paranormal Research Society, a department at Penn State University. His team has investigated numerous cases where frightened people said that they were being tormented by unseen evil entities. The dark force that commands you to come forward now and speak with us. Uh, a demon is a... In, in the Roman Catholic view, in the Christian view, it's a fallen angel uh, thought to be at war with God. And they seek the ruin of souls. So they are here, they're trying to interact with us, they're trying to pretty much wear us down uh, to do things that are against good. But the demonic try to isolate you from the good. They try to isolate you from your family and friends. So people who are going under demonic attack or possession will start to move away from um, the, their loved ones. That, that's kind of supportive structure. Um, their life will become a little more erratic, a little bit more chaotic, um, a little bit more, um, you know, they become a danger to themselves, you know, sometimes. And um, eventually it just breaks them down to where you don't even recognize these people anymore. Ryan's understanding of demonic forces comes from his Catholic background, and he believes it is especially important for individuals to guard themselves against attacks and to be careful not to unknowingly invite demons into their lives. But some people believe that opening yourself up um, and sinning in certain areas allow you more, to be more vulnerable to demonic attack. According to the Bible, even seemingly harmless encounters with psychics, palm readers, and Ouija boards can bring on grave consequences. If we believe in the spiritual realm, if we believe in the, the demonic, Devices, occult devices such as Ouija boards, you know, when people warn you against it, it makes sense in my opinion because think about what you're doing. You're, you're sitting here and you got this board and you're saying, you know, possess my hands and, and move this board around and communicate with me. You don't know who you're talking to. You know, you try to communicate with someone and, they, and this person, the spirit claims to be grandma and you're like, oh, grandma, and it's very inviting and next thing you know, you know, you're done with the Ouija board, but grandma stays. Next thing you know, grandma's shaking your bed and throwing you around the room and smacking you around. And then you realize, maybe this isn't grandma. Or a lot of people have used occult devices such as Ouija boards. And that's how the source, I mean, that's, that, it's usually blamed for being the source of the problem. Because usually after they use a Ouija board, suddenly their house is haunted. And they're terrified. And, and a lot of cases we've done started with people using Ouija boards. That isn't very nice. If those principles are true, then in this day and age, it must be very easy to attract evil forces into our lives. 
In fact, the Catholic Church and other religions believe demons are such a threat that they have specialists trained to ward them off and in extreme cases do battle with demons through exorcism. The demonic are patient, you know, time has no meaning to them. For some of these individuals who are, finally get to that point where they need an exorcism, you know, they've been hounded their entire lives. There have been a lot of exorcisms all over the country. So are demons lurking around every corner just waiting for an opening to bring evil into your life? Well, we may never know for sure, but for now, is it just beyond belief?